Imagine waking up in the morning and feeling that your mouth is burning, but when you look, everything appears normal, there is no ulceration, lesions, or even redness. This is what people with burning mouth syndrome feel every day. Let's discuss it today, exploring why it happens and what can be done to manage it. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel Prep Pockets, where we try to simplify dentistry for you. If you are new here and haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then you can just hit that subscribe button for more dental tips and insights. Let's start with what is burning mouth syndrome. It is a chronic pain condition where a patient feels burning, tingling, or scalded sensations in the mouth, but there are no clinical signs and symptoms. It is idiopathic in most cases, meaning the cause is unknown in most cases. The most targeting locations are tongue, lips, palate, and oral mucosa. BMS is classified into two types, one is primary BMS, which is idiopathic, the cause is unknown, and there is no involvement of local and systemic factors. Therefore, this type is considered a neuropathic pain disorder involving peripheral or central nerve dysfunction. The other one is secondary BMS, which is caused by an underlying local or systemic factors, such as some nutritional deficiencies, anxiety and stress, hormonal changes, allergies, medications and some oral infections like fungal infections. Who can get it? It can affect anyone, but it's most common in elderly women. The female-to-male ratio is 7 ratio 1. What are the main causes of this invisible condition? It has a number of factors causing, let's talk in detail. First are local factors like dry mouth, xerostomia, parfunctional habits, for example, tongue thrusting, denture irritation if the patient is a denture wearer, and candidiasis, which may mimic BMS. The next is systemic factors, which involve nutritional deficiencies like iron, zinc, vitamin B1, B2, B6, B12, and folate. Hormonal imbalances, especially estrogen, that decline in menopause. Diabetes mellitus and hypothyroidism. It can also be caused by psychological factors, involving anxiety, depression, stress, and other emotional disorders. Neuropathic mechanisms involve small fiber sensory neuropathy, trigeminal nerve dysfunction, and central sensitization. How does it represent? Common symptoms include gradual or sudden, bilateral or unilateral, but usually bilateral burning sensation on the tongue, glossodynia, lips, palate, or entire mouth, occurring daily for at least four to six months, with no visible lesions. There may be complaints of dry mouth, altered taste like dysgeusia or metallic taste, tingling or pain worsening throughout the day, and improving with eating or sleeping. How to diagnose this condition? Because the mouth looks normal in most BMS cases, diagnosis is based on the detailed clinical history of the patient, clinical examination, some laboratory tests such as complete blood count, blood glucose levels, serum ferritin, folate, B12, and zinc levels. Some tests to check levels of hormones like TSH, thyroid-stimulating hormone, and estrogen. Some tests to measure salivary flow rate. Patch testing to rule out allergies, psychiatric evaluation and neurological testing. Let's talk about treatment now. How to manage it. For primary BMS, focus on pain control and psychological support. For secondary BMS, treat the underlying cause. Pharmacological interventions include giving topical agents to control pain and burning, and systemic agents like antidepressants, if psychological condition is ruled out. These are some drugs that can be given. Non-pharmacological interventions include cognitive behavior therapy, psychotherapy, stress management and lifestyle modifications. Its prognosis is variable. Chronic cases can require long-term management. These are some recent research directions, which can be very helpful in treating this condition. Living with constant mouth burning can be exhausting, both physically and emotionally. That's why it's important to keep a symptom diary to track triggers, avoid irritating foods like spicy dishes, citrus, or alcohol. Stay hydrated to avoid mouth dryness. Manage the stress levels. And seek support from others who have the same condition. That's it for today. If you or someone you know has unexplained burning in the mouth, don't ignore it. The earlier you get evaluated, the faster you can find relief. 
your oral health matters, and so does your comfort. If you found this helpful, like this video, share it with others, and subscribe for more easy-to-understand dental tips.